would school look like in Galt's Gulch? I began homeschooling my oldest son 15 years ago, and my husband asked me that question, and it has nagged me ever since. I ask myself, what would Galt do when I find myself creating a government school type schedule, standard school subjects, and I need a reminder that homeschool is not government school at home. <laughs> we moved to New Hampshire about 20 years ago, and here we have the freedom to homeschool however we wish. I, thank you. I don't have to tell the school district my curriculum, so I can create the education experience that best suits each of my children. Most days, our homeschool includes online classes, science YouTube videos, and every so often, the old-fashioned physical books. But does this resemble what education would look like in Galt's Gulch? No. So let's forget everything we know about government schools, the subjects, the hours, the building, and reimagine learning in a hidden mountain enclave. Yeah. What would that look like? The first step is deciding on what knowledge is essential. This will look different for every community. I'd like to share my favorite five subjects as a starting point. One, farming and cooking. The most basic survival skill is knowing how to grow, butcher, and cook food. <laughs> Two, firearms. Because even if you're living in paradise, the real world will find you eventually and you'll have to protect yourself from jealous outsiders. <laughs> Three, emergency medical training. Because knowing what to do when an accident happens is a form of self-responsibility. Four, math integrated with cooking, building, and of course, economics. Five, Ethics, because no society can hope to remain moral without people understanding what is good and right. So, the, the next consideration is how the subjects are taught. And this part is my favorite, because the people in Galt's Gulch were the experts in their fields. So naturally, they would be the teachers. And I cannot imagine these brilliant people sharing their knowledge by standing in front of quietly seated children and giving boring lectures followed by multiple choice tests. Instead, learning would be hands-on because everyone learns best by doing. Now, I have to admit homeschool for my three sons has not achieved that vision. There are many reasons. The main one is I don't know John Galt or Dagny Taggart. There are a limited number of experts in the North Country. I haven't met many, but the ones I have met have no interest in teaching children their craft. However, this is my first pork fest. And this week, thank you, I got to watch my 13-year-old son have a front seat to Dennis Pratt debating ethics and economics with David Friedman. Woo! This, I believe, is the hidden jewel of a school that I have always dreamed of. 